Hey guys, uh, what's going on? I'm back with a new product review for you guys today. I'm going to be reviewing the um, a new Speedlight Flash that I just got in the mail. That is from Amazon. Um, actually, a few weeks ago, I already used it. As you can see, I already opened it. I was very impressed with it, so I wanted to make sure I did a review for you guys. And this is the newer TT560 Speedlight. Here's the box that it came in. It has some information about how to use it in the back. Um, and uh, inside you just get um, a little tag saying, saying what's included inside of the box. It comes in with uh, your uh, warranty information and a very simple manual. You don't really need the manual because it's a pretty straight, straightforward device. Nice um, uh, protective bag that it came in, kind of like a um, velvety uh, bag for it. So it's, uh, the, the flash unit will stay there safe and you won't get broken in case you, you, you will drop it. And here it is, the uh, newer 560 TT or TT560 Speedlight. Uh, pretty standard looking as far as the regular Speedlights out there. It also came in with a nice set of um, adapter, a ni nice adapter so you can put it in here in the bottom of your unit. So it stands up right there in case you don't have a, stand, uh, a light stand for it. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, as far as the, the materials, uh, it looks exactly like the other types of um, similar uh, speed, speed light units out there, like the Young Newell flashes. The design is very similar, you just bend the, the strobe like that, or the flash unit like this. It bends in all the directions, so it's very flexible. Uh, good materials, this is all plastic, but it is hard plastic, so it doesn't look like it's gonna break or anything. Uh, it does not come with the batteries, I had, you had to buy the batteries on your own. It uses four, uh, four AA batteries, I believe. Uh, standard hot shoe adapter for any kind of cameras. It's not uh, specific for um, Nikon or Canon, you can use it for any kind of cameras that uses a standard hot shoe device or adapter. And as far as the functionality, uh, again, very simple. You just have an on and off button right there. You get lots of LED lights indicators right here to show you what power level you want to use on your speed light and again I have used this speed light before many times and it's really um, uh, trial, and, uh, trial and error for this kind of speed lights. You have to see what works in one kind of situation. If you're indoors you want to test it out with uh, kind of like a medium right here in this level. It's, if it's too dark you just try increasing the light or just changing the configurations in your camera uh, or if it's too bright you can also change it around right here. Uh, to change the power level of the, the, the lights or the flash. And uh, you also get the test right here, so you can see if it works, so you can see it works just fine. And uh, the mode selection, um, I've only been using it in the, in the M, the regular manual selection, because this is a manual speed light. Uh, it doesn't have TTL, uh, so I've just use, been using it in M. And you can also have the option to use it as a slave mode here in S1 and S2. Honestly, I have not tried those settings yet, so I can't say too much about it, but in the manual setting, it works just fine. Uh, I like this flash. I like this flash at all a lot. Um, uh, I like it how directional it is. So if, in case you're using it in, indoors, it works really well. You can also add any kind of modifiers here in the top. It also comes in with a nice diffuser right there, which can help sometimes if you're shooting indoors. Uh, but I usually use it with a different kind of modifier here in the, in the top, like kind of like a little mini um, uh, softbox, which usually works really well. Uh, and again, it's very comparable to the other types of speed lights out there. I'm actually going to bring another one so I can compare it with. I'm going to bring my old Young Nuo Flash unit, which I have used many times before. It also comes in in a standard um, uh, uh, bag for it. And as you can see, this one has a little bit more options right here, but uh, the newer, I believe, they are a little bit on the... Um, uh, they're, uh, they're, they're cheaper compared to the Young Nuo 562 or 563s. This one has a little bit more options. But as far as the size and the weight and um, uh, the features that you can get in between those two, uh, they're very similar, as you can see. Uh, the Young Nuo gives you a little bit more settings when it comes to the flash itself, but... If you're looking for something simple just to plug and play, just uh, do simple shoots indoors, I highly recommend that you still check out the newer uh, TT560. If you're looking for more advanced configurations, go with the Young Nuo Flash. You can't miss with those ones. Um, uh, but as far as the newer, this is a really good flash. I give it 5 out of 5 stars. Uh, I'm going to leave you some sample images that I got with this newer TT560. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye-bye.